Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my Subaru for another devotion on God and politics. And I'm just barely getting enough light this morning uh, as the, the sun is coming up later and later to do this devotion. And so today I want to talk to you about one of the most important passages of Scripture. Uh, most of you are familiar with it. Jesus was approached by a religious leader um, and he asked him a question. What is the most important commandment? Remember that question? And here's Jesus' response in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Now, most people don't disagree on that. In fact, during Jesus' day, no one disagreed on that. But without hesitation, he goes right into the second greatest commandment. Now, that's where there was a lot of disagreement. There was an entire camp of people who followed a particular rabbi who taught and believed that the second greatest commandment was to be holy. And that makes sense. It sounds religious even. It sounds like that would be the right answer. But there was another camp who followed another rabbi who believed and who taught that the second greatest commandment was to love your neighbor. And Jesus would side with that camp and he would clarify who their neighbor was. It wasn't the people that agreed with you. It wasn't the people that you liked. It wasn't people of the same political affiliation or the same race or the same country even. In fact, he uses that famous story of the Good Samaritan, a very despised group of people by Jews, that that is their neighbor. So what that means for you and me, and this is really important, this is really important, is that we must put people before politics. I see all kinds of wacky things and I hear stories and, and I pay attention to the news somewhat. And politics today are dividing people, uh, dividing families, dividing uh, parents from their kids, husbands from their wives. The, 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 the toxic intensity uh, of today's rhetoric about politics is astounding. Sports across the, the board, uh, basketball, baseball, football, uh, viewership is down in record numbers. But guess what's up in record numbers? That's right. Politics, news. It is the new sport. And we have chosen our team and we will let people know who our team is. And so the Christian needs to rise above that. And I've hounded you guys over and over. We must remember that we are Christians first, before we are Democrats, before we are Republicans, before we are even Americans, we are Christians first. And so today I want to hound that point uh, in you, and that is that we must put people before politics. We must put people before politics. And here's what that looks like. Here's what that looks like, because many of us live with kind of an Old Testament view on how we treat our neighbors. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. They disrespect me, I'll disrespect them. They gossip about me, I'll gossip about them. Uh, they uh, offend me, then I will find a way to offend them back. And Jesus says no. Jesus says no. Put people above politics. Now, let me ask you a question here. What is the most important thing to God? In all of creation, in all of this vast universe, what is the most important thing to God? If you read through the creation account in Genesis, he makes it really clear. Day one, it is good. Day two, it is good. Day three, it is good. All the way until he creates Adam and Eve. And what does he say? It is very good. See, the most important thing to God is people. And so therefore, for the Christian, the most important thing for us is people. We love God internally. We love them with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. But outwardly, 
that expression of loving God must come across not as being right. Now, it's important to be right. I'm not saying being wrong. But we love people and we put people first. See, here's the thing. Some of you are good at arguing. And you can win an argument but lose the relationship. It is more important that we put people first than be right all the time. It is more important that we put people first than win an argument. Because when we win an argument, we lose. And so that's my challenge for you as we come up to this very tumultuous, divisive uh, election in just a few days, is that we put our neighbor first. Even if they disagree with us, even if they're wrong, even if they don't like our views or our candidate, what does it look like for you to put people first? What does it look like for you to love people first? See, we might disagree. We might disagree on what is best for this country. We might dis disagree on what is best for people. But we cannot disagree that what's best is putting people first. So God bless you guys, and may the peace of God that passes all understanding guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.